So, where are we, Kev? Well, we're in a little um, village in Wales called Ponty I can't even say it. It, is a it ends in bout. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it doesn't end in bout. The, the place we go into ends in the word bout. Yeah. And it is a big conference centre in the middle of this tiny little village in the middle of this amazing country. And uh, it's the Festival of the Shire event. We're, we're here to come and see <laughs> hobbits and elves and all kinds of random esque <laughs> Yes, it's going to be it's going to be good because <laughs> we're hoping to meet up with a guy called Peter Kenny. He actually, he uses my music for his videos and he's subscribed to me. And he's lives in Australia, and he's come down for this event. And uh, so uh, we're going to hopefully meet, meet up with him. Are you specific character or just um, mid earthian general fantasy? I think they're <laughs> fantastic costumes, they're really good. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. Is, is this Gandalf? Are you, are you Gandalf, sir? If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, now we've met uh, a very special guy called René Rosenberg, and he owns the Tolkien shop in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, the Tolkien shop is the only shop in the world that is entirely and totally dedicated to Tolkien. Whatever it has to do with Tolkien, I got it in my shop, so soon I will have this as well. Uh, it is a shop is in Leiden, which is a real shop, a brick and mortar shop. It's open today, I hope, because I have staff who opened the shop for me. And if there's anything to do with Tolkien, whatever it is, I got it in my shop. And I've been trading since 1986, so next year I celebrate my 25th anniversary with something special. If you haven't checked out um, the Tolkien shop on the internet, go and have a look. If, you're, if you like Lord of the Rings or anything to do with uh, Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, things like that, Go check out this, uh, this, and I will put a link in the notes of this video. And it's well worth a look. So, <laughs> wow, is that, a, is that a proper? That is. That's a Lord of the Rings ring. Does it glow if you put it in the fire? <laughs> that is awesome. That's awesome. But that, we just just learned out that that is Rene's van. Um, Rene is the guy from the Tolkien shop that we've just met and chatted with and talked to him about a new product that we're, we're working on and uh, we could get that in the Tolkien shop in the Netherlands, the only one in the world, very soon. Yeah, the, really the only brick and mortar shop in the world. In fact, that's, that's the email address there, uh, Tolkien Win. Winkle. Is that, is that Tolkien Winkle? Tolkien <laughs> Winkle. <laughs> 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 That is cool, there's a Legolas there doing his thing. Yeah, give me an idea from my van now.
Look at these chairs. They are fantastic. They're just brilliant. Look at that chair there. Look. YouTube videos and that's my music being played <laughs> well, from one of my um, from one of my uh, albums I think no it's not it's one of the freebies I give away yeah so, so that's kind of cool this is, this is some of uh, Peter's collection Good afternoon everyone. Um, my name is Peter Kenny and in case you're wondering I'm actually from Australia but I've been to New Zealand on two occasions and the last time I went I did a red carpet tour which was a 12 day tour that took you to the various movie locations. Uh, also while we did the tour we got to meet a few of the local people who were involved with the production of the movie. Also the Green Dragon Inn which you see in the movie, was just a facade. This time they're rebuilding it as a permanent building. Why? I would say they're going to put the cafe, bar, uh, souvenir shop on that site for the tourists that are going to come in there. It's very popular. They have day tours down there. A number of companies run day tours to the Hobbiton site. Glenn McAllister. <laughs> 
that's it for the festival this year. We're going to head on back now. We're going to take the mountain road home. So um, uh, we thought we'd leave before it gets dark, so we can actually sort of see see some of the scenes and stuff. See so if we can get some good pictures and footage. And I'm also running out of tape. I've only got about eight minutes left of tape. So uh, that's it. What do you think, Kev? Awesome. Really good. Really friendly people. They're um, you know, quite a mixture of characters. characters. Yeah. <laughs> presentation was really good, really enjoyed that and really informative as well and uh, it told me a lot of it's stuff I wanted to know. I, I would consider it my favourite part of the day actually, it was a yeah. highlight of the day for me plus the fact we get to, got to see the, um, all the locations where the films would have been filmed. Right, and, yeah. You know, yeah. The reality. So it's very impressive. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's tame. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, but it's tame. It doesn't bite. Yeah, it doesn't bite. Good. <laughs> That's not his baby. Nuts. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Right, we're going to move on to the next location and we'll see you soon. Get some food. <laughs>